if you have been trying to create a scroll bar control with a sidebar you are in the right place as you can see here i have a sidebar that have a menu icon and a list of items and each item it has a drop down option when i toggle it it will show it's as you can see here we have rocket planet upo satellite star asteroid and even control panel this sounds good but it is very interesting as you can see here each and every items i click in this sidebar it will give a little space down in order to drop down menus to affair look at this carefully so in order that we have we need to add scroll bar control on my sidebar that's why in this video i'm going to show you step by step in details everything you need to know about adding a scroll bar to your sidebar so without further ado let's get to the video if you're new here i'm a mr smartwist i do video on web development project and coding tutorial so don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that by the time we release the video you'll be the first one to get notice keep it in mind that this is just a preview of my last video on how to create a sidebar menu with drop down options and also scroll bar so you can check link in the video description in order to watch the video and also to download the source file or to start from the scratch for free so this video it has been organized in three steps step number one is the requirement you need to know step number two is overview on the structure and the step number three is how to add a scroll bar to the sidebar a requirement the first one under requirement is device availability and you have a desktop laptop computer smartphone tabs it is free as much as you have a code editor the one i recommended is bs code and if you have using smartphone the one i'll be recommended is programming hero you can check link in the video description if you want to learn more about programming hero the second one under requirement is folder creation you need to create a folder that content html css and javascript and then an image they need to be in the same folder and also link them using link term and a script tab in a html file the third one under requirement is fonts and icons i use google fonts for my fonts family in the icons i use font aware some and also box icons so i highly recommended you to go and link them using links term on your html or css the next after requirement is overview on the structure the structure is very easy and simple initially we add html doc type then in the html tags we add head it contains title meta tags links to google fonts links to box icons links to font aware some and the custom style linking in the body we have sidebar which contain naps and and this nap contain logo menu and list of items in the logo menu that's where our hamburger and logo is located and we have eight list of items as you can see here we have dashboard we have planet we have ufo and we have asteroid control funnel and we have at least eight list of items and each item we click it will show a drop down menu as you can see here for example in the rocket planet as you can see here on that planet we have s and also the last one is control panel we have navigation communication power control and also live support and this is actually how the structure firstly without linking css as you can see here smarter that's our logo hamburger dashboard and each there is a um, drop down items so let me say nested items on that it's so now if i go in to comment out my style because i already have a css similarly i have already i add a global style side by styles and also i customized my logo menu everything that is necessary for discord i did it logo menu for active class on javascript and other necessary and even i use javascript for drop down to appear which i'll be showing you step by step how i make it so i'm not don't forget to watch that video in the in order to watch full this is just a preview of it and and look at this carefully this item the drop down so if i refresh right now look at this Look at how the style but my website in is statically is not responsive let me say it's not interactive because there's no javascript on it and everything is okay and for now in order to make the website interactive i'm going to enable my javascript linking that is external javascript using script tab source script js this is my javascript at event list now for cyber Google. when i tap on hongo a uh, hamburger it will show the class active and as well in each and every list of item is had a drop down menu with active class drop down let me see drop down menu also active drop down each list items i click it will give a little down space in other drop down menu to appear add event list now for toggle and also toggle active class for sidebar in order to switch between active and inactive and also i use loop in a javascript javascript loop and to adjust a file when i toggle each list item a little margin down will a padding down it will give let me see for here i use padding everything i click in list items it will give at least 
London height. Let me see some amount of padding in pixel in order to drop down menus to appear as a nested element on the next child under each list items. As you can see here, that is list items under my drop down menu. And I used to total height of 60, total height of each drop down from 60 in order to get this. So, for example, I just click on refresh. Let me show you something right now. In order to see when I toggle sidebar, an active class will is exactly show us. As you can see here, there's only class called sidebar in the sidebar. Check it carefully. So when I toggle, um, that's hamburger. By the way, if I toggle hamburger, it will show active class. Look at this carefully. It will show sidebar and sidebar active. Look at this. And if I click one of the list items here, for example, rocket, it will show it is drop downs items. As you can see here, and it will have that drop down will have active drop down and a little down space. For example, um, twenty twenty space. It's given. As you can see it here so basically you can watch full tutorial link will be in the video description order to get how i did all of this you can watch it and download the subscribe and don't forget to subscribe and so turn on the notification bell so that by the time you release the video you'll be first one to get notice but there's a one problem here if i click on etching each items as you can see i may get out of space some of my options will not be available so that's now we are going to do step three in order to enable scroll back so we need to update our css we'll target list contain all our list items then we we'll make sure that it will be sidebar that has a class active so under sidebar active class then tier list we we'll add about pro y and now if we click on refresh it will not work because we have only given heights of that list so we are going to give a max height to be 100 percent or some amount of pixel we want then we keep on refresh you can see here the scroll bar will be showing and now we can just adjust the space according to our site as you can see it right now each item i click it will be show and look at this carefully the drop down is working look at this carefully rocket planets and there's one problem the overflow x is showing look at this carefully so we are going to hide the overflow x so we don't want this so overflow x will be hiding so right now if you click on refresh everything is working right now there's no any overflow x now our scroll bar is showing look at this carefully we have star so now as you can see there's no any overflow x so basically this is how you can create a sidebar with a drop down menu and also scroll bar so if you want to get this subscribe let me see to watch full tutorial you can check the link in the video description as i say or to download the file or everything will be in the video description so that's how you can do it and by the way we come at the end of this video don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that by the time you listen to the video you'll be the first one to get notice thanks for watching bye